Hey guys, I just want to give a quick thank you to Live BNB for choosing to work with me. We're working on a really cool offer for you guys, um, and I'm going to be making a video very soon to give you all that information. So stay tuned. What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. What is going on, man? Um, Okay, look, it, 2024, it's the year of the dis, the, the return, um, and, and everybody wants a piece. Everybody wants to get involved. Um, King Combs, I believe this is Diddy's son. I didn't know that he made music. I've never heard anything from him, so if there's anything worth checking out, absolutely let me know. Uh, but I got to be honest with you, man. If, if your skills are anything like your dad's skills... When it comes to uh, rapping, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how good this is gonna be. Okay, um, that was probably my least favorite aspect of of P Diddy's like musical career was like when he would actually rap on a track. Uh, but whatever, it's fine. We're gonna try our best to not go in with too much bias. <laughs> I think it's impossible to go in with none. But we're gonna try our best, and we're gonna give it a fair shot. And if it's good, we're gonna say it's good. If it's not, yeah. Uh, apparently, he's dissing some people in this. I heard 50 Cent, uh, but let's let's check this out. Let's see what we got. Pick they a side. Praying on our downfall another time again. After the rain, for the sun gonna shine again. That's right. Don't bust no U-turns, because we ain't forgetting shit. And to all y'all that switch... Suck my dick. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. His voice kind of sounds like Diddy's. Um, okay, that didn't sound great. I'll just be honest with you. I see what you were trying to do there. Um, kind of give that like eerie warning type thing when we use like nursery rhyme sounding uh, stuff, and then we're kind of being like more, you know, uh, threatening. With the nursery rhyme stuff, it works well in terms of creating an eerie feel. The I feel like you were just, your singing was just a little bit off, in my opinion. Um, let's see what we got with the beat. Let's know you turns. Cause also, um, just with like all the allegations against your dad, probably ending it with S my D. Uh, maybe not the best choice of words there. Getting <laughs> shit, and to all y'all that switch. Suck my dick. Let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Suck my dick. Mm, heavy beat. What? What? Ooh, that bass. You talking down the family name, man? You wildin'. What? Hey, the beat's going hard though. The beat's going hard. I don't know if he's gonna deliver well on this, but the beat's going hard. You talking down the family name, man? You wildin'. Okay. What? Get I dare one of you niggas scream out, no Diddy. Fuck that nigga. Bro, blow up. with me. No Diddy. What? I dare one of you niggas scream out no diddy Fuck that nigga Bro, blow with me Baddies, they ready to go with me I just nod and they know to go get them Might see me with some pretty hoes with me But ain't no hoe with me I just laid back in that Virgil Maybach That shit like 450 Lay back in that Mer uh, Virgil Maybach 450 Flexing on him a little bit um, Yeah, just some like basic threatening lines here um, A criticism I have right away That tells me he's not like a high level rapper um, he's doing the, like, let's say it's the 50, 50 rhyme scheme. And then like 50 with me, like these are things that could rhyme with it. But then he said, go get them to make it rhyme, but made no effort to kind of twist it to make it fit. Um, so it just, you know, one of those things, just, these are just indicators. I'm not calling out that line specifically, but these are just indicators that you're not a high level rapper. Uh, when when it sounds like that baddies they ready to go with me i just nod and they know to go get them might see me with some pretty hoes with me but ain't no hoe with me i just laid back and that virgil made back that shit like 450 police raid the crib like they think we selling crack we but we that. out here selling tracks multi-million dollar plaques rather put this shit on um I, the ad lib okay <laughs> Police, uh, police raid the crib like we're selling crack. Uh, I understand what you were trying to do there, okay? I, I get it. Uh, but, but 
the ad lib. Back in that Virgil May back, that Hold shit up. like 450. Police raid the crib like they think we selling crack. We but we that. out his. We ain't doing that, oh, bro. The thing is, like, there are rappers who can get away with the monotone, chill delivery. One of them, biggest, like one of the biggest artists in in the world, Drake, he has a very laid back, monotone delivery. Uh, he can get away with it, but but that's because he's dynamic in other ways. This just feels like. It almost feels like you didn't want to do this, the way that it's being delivered. But whatever, let's keep selling going. tracks, multi-million dollar plaques. Rather put this shit on wax. All that gossip shit is wax. When all they had was fifty cent, who put this city on the map? Stop lying. Pop when all they had was fifty cents, so he's saying when they were broke and they didn't have any money, who who put the city on the map? But also fifty cent, the rapper, put the city on the map. I get it. This whack. When all they had was 50 cent. Who put this city on the map? Stop lying. Pops been hated on by many men. And nigga, that's fine. They gonna try to stop these Eminems. And they gonna die trying. Pull up to the south side. I think that was a gun bar. But also maybe a shot at Eminem. I'm not sure. Um, obviously, the callback to 50 cents music with many men. Um, saying that many men are like going after his dad. You know. Look, one thing I got to respect, I mean, like backing up your dad, I, I, I do respect that aspect of it, right? Because family means a lot to me. So I get that you're feeling like you got to defend your dad with everyone's like, you know, going after him. And, you know, we did the Gucci Mane song last week. So, yeah, I mean, he's got a big target on his back. Uh, I respect that aspect of it, but this is so far. This is not good. City on the map. Stop lying. Pops been hated on by many men, and nigga, that's fine. They gon' try to stop these Eminems, and they gon' die trying. Pull up to the south side. We locked in. We got ties. Don't give a fuck about no blogs, cause we really outside. Hey yo, CZ, what the fuck these niggas talking about? Niggas say it's war time, then it's war, nigga. What we doing? Niggas playing with niggas' names and all that. Fuck that. Broke nigga, I don't know who even birthed these whole niggas. All that woofing on the net, well now it's time to show niggas. Steady talk. So, so one thing, like, he's definitely in a position where he can flex the money. I mean, Diddy's net worth, I believe, I don't know what it is currently, but I believe was like either close to the billion mark or at the billion mark. Um, definitely prior to all of these allegations and stuff. I mean, these type of things hurt your stock. So I don't know if he's still worth that. Um, but it's a good angle in terms of the money stuff. Birth these whole niggas, all that woofing on the net. Well, now it's time to show niggas. Steady talking on the fam, and we don't even know niggas. But go ahead, play one call away. We ain't sparing no oh, that niggas. Shit, dead. Count bandos in my Gucci sandals. These niggas is sick. Probably hating cause we rich. He must think we fucked this bitch. Knock them walls down like when them fetty. They hate us cause we're rich, or they think that we mess with their girl. Um, I don't think that's why they hate you at the moment. I mean, the, the, the allegations I think is the main situation. There's also a history of Diddy and like the way his treatment of his artists, obviously that's a big, big thing as well. Probably hating cause we rich. He must think we fucked this bitch. Knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran in both our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door cause that's the one they miss. How y'all talking like a nigga Tom? Hold up, what did he just say? He must think we fucked this bitch. Knock them walls down like when them Fetty boys ran in both our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door cause that's the one they miss. How y'all Did this man just snitch on himself? He said knocking down walls like the Fetty Boys did to both of our cribs. Too bad they didn't know we bought the next one because that's the one they, or the, the one next door because that's the one they missed. Bro, wh what made you think that that was a good line? Look, I, I'm trying to call out parts where he's he's got a bar. Or he's There's not many. The biggest issue with me for this, even if it had better writing and better bars, the delivery is not good. It's just not. Um, and, and that's fine. Like, maybe he's not like a rapper rapper. Like, whatever. Bars are not there. The writing is not there. And then you snitch on yourself as a cherry on top. Wow. 
Boys running both for our cribs. Too bad they ain't know we bought the one next door, cause that's the one they miss. How y'all talking like a nigga time up? Throwing shade, get your shines up. Asking where my pops at, he on the G6, getting the line up. Oh, you pussy ass niggas line up. Let's multiply the lies up. We running shit. That, that part was dope. Like, where's my pops at? He's not a G6 getting a lineup. Getting a lineup. All oh, you pussy ass niggas line up. Let's multiply the lies up. We running shit. This bad boy make a bad bitch one sign up. That was a stronger finish after he snitched on himself. I think it was almost like maybe he realized he snitched on himself. He's like, I can't take that part out, but I can finish stronger. Maybe. Uh, but that was a stronger finish to the, to the verse at the end there. Yo, the beat's the hardest part of this whole thing. Okay. Oh, Lord. Look, man. Uh, I, I, I tried. I, if I came across as a hater, please, 100%, call me out um and and let me know in the comments down below um but i i really do feel like that was not good um yeah i mean i don't know what else to say i like i don't feel like anybody has any reason to respond to this in terms of like a diss like you know he mentioned 50 cent eminem but it's like it felt like it was like an overall track to everybody that's like saying stuff about him and going against him and then just had a couple specific lines about a couple specific people. Um, it just wasn't good. I'm sorry. Uh, if you're still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.